Best products in Brightwell. The more you I spend, give hard the better cash goods. for your I'm unwanted destroying. goods on the spot. Just passing through then. Stalls. Been warmer than expected, lady. Esteemed citizens of Brightwall, today we demonstrate the generous nature of our fair town. For too long have our mountain neighbors suffered in silence, and now we extend a helping hand. But this effort would not have been possible without the courage and determination of one woman, the daughter 
of the old hero king. From this day, we shall know you as the hero of Brightwall. Before you leave, we ask of you one favor. As we pledge ourselves to you, so we hope you will pledge to return Brightwall to its former glory and reopen the academy which your father founded. I will. Very, very good, very good. I expected nothing less from you. These volunteers shall carry the supplies to the dweller camp. They may have them with our blessing. I hope you will return one day. Not just as our hero, but as our queen. Goods in Brightwall. Let me know if I can help. Upon that wall, you'll find the contracts representing the promises that you've made to the people of Albion. Your contract with Samuel is there, for example. The armory is at your disposal. Burning a foe can have a profound psychological impact on his fellows, unless they're heartless brigands or mindless animals, which probably encompasses the vast majority of your foes. Still, it will look dramatic. Hammers cause massive damage, always a boon in combat. You have done a wonderful... It's you again. Uh, the one that convinced us to keep the chickens. Thank you for what you did. Though I will say it was a strain on our marriage for a little. That it was. I didn't want to let the birds out. And she said chickens weren't meant to be cooped up. Of course, I said the definition of coop. 
is a place you keep chickens. Finally, we came up with a compromise that worked for both of us and, more importantly, made the chickens happy. We don't let them run free, but we let them do the next best thing. Run races. First of its kind. Though I expect it will catch on. <laughs> Gives the chickens an outlet for their aggression and allows us to maintain security and control. Would you like to bet on the next race? It's very simple. A spate to Horace by the track. All profits go to... Well, <laughs> mostly they go to buying more feed. They're voracious eaters. The Colonel is the general. Mr. Clock. This enigmatic bird is also known as He Who Kicks People, Corn's Worst Nightmare, and the Hero Chat. sudden change in wind direction. Two wings, Timmy is the winner! I don't mind them losing. What I object to is them taking my best of chicken who wasn't even running. I still say chickens can't be trusted, but at least now I know they can be controlled. Hello. Our hero returns, bringing good tidings <laughs> and supper. <laughs> Damn thing doesn't open. How do you um? Oh well, I never thought you'd actually get it. Tell you the truth, Boulder. We've been blessed, my friends. We have made an alliance that has already brought us life. One day. It will bring us much more. We require but one more offering before we fight at your side. Ah, Border. Promise to restore these mountains to their full glory and to protect our right to dwell in them. And promise you will bring nothing but the fiercest justice upon Logan's head. I promise. Then may we be carried into the castle by the dark storms of fury. You'll have to wait a little longer for that. It's still just us against a whole army. We need to recruit more people. Mm, I was afraid you'd come over all logical and sensible. Well, you have brought us a feast, and we are free to hunt again. We'll just keep on eating and drinking till you're good and ready. Right, Border? <laughs> he, he couldn't be happier. You have made an important ally today. 
The revolution cannot hope to succeed without fighters such as Sabine and his people on your side. You have the beginnings of an army now. I couldn't be prouder of what you've accomplished here, but there is still much for us to do, and I know just where to find our next allies. I'll meet you at the station in Mispeak when you're ready. The revolution is just getting started. You don't blame me for the prices. Blame the thriving economy! I'm not going hungry this week. As long as I can find a shop that sells food.
Seems wealthy enough. Worth killing and robbing anyway. Ooh! She shot you good, mate! Hey, you slug! Leave my mate alone! Hurried you! I'm a wandering trader, trying to get to Brightwall Village. I'm a wandering trader, trying to get to Brightwall Village. But the roots become infested with marauding renegades. They're bound to rob me and kill me, or kill me and rob me. I can never get over this place. Twenty years ago, it was just a damp, murky void in the middle of nowhere. Now people queue up to get dangled across it in a steel box. And here it comes. Most of the people here will be heading straight to Bowerstone. But we're going to take a little detour first. I just hope something wrong. It's about to move! We have to get down there. How could this have happened? Those poor people! Those poor, poor people! Somebody call for help! This must be the way down. We have to find those people. See if there's any survivors. Let's go! Looks like the only way. All right. I can do this. Let's get down. I don't want to spend any more time in this box than I have to. It fell somewhere up ahead. Come on! <laughs> ah. 
I'd know those sounds anywhere. Maybe the monorail falling wasn't an accident after all. stood a chance. I'm not getting into a monorail car the So where are we going? To find some old friends. Let me say, I wouldn't want to go into any battle without them on my side. Can't be. 
beat magic. That's a dead hob, all right. I placed the contract representing your promise to Sabine on the wall. Welcome to the Sanctuary. Not bad aiming for an old man, huh? Well, look at that. They pull themselves in like a bastard. Isn't that a dog? Oh, nice. Reminds me of the time you broke my sword. Bloody brilliant, it's a collar! They don't like getting shot at, do they? That spell did the trick. Maybe the rest of them will think twice about attacking us now. Who else wants a bullet in the head? That'll have them scurrying to their holes. our way. You'll have to get behind it somehow. Cave like this, there has to be some other way of getting there. Think you're so smart. Standing behind your fancy magic, don't you? Yes, that's right, I'm talking to you. Smart 
enough to use magic. Not smart enough to wear their pants the right way round. Try explaining that. been a whole city down here once. You don't think the hops built it, do you? <laughs> Not with those stubby fingers. Yep. Almost like that was going to happen. You have overcome an important test. A good leader must always be ready to face the unknown and to seek new paths. Your defeat of the creatures in this cave will be told throughout the land. Return to the sanctuary and I can pass along what. Hello there. The gauntlets are in the armory, of course. Now, each gauntlet is capable of casting a particular type of spell. By wearing a different gauntlet on each hand, you can unleash a devastating combination of powers each time you cast. Thank you. 
I don't think you're going to find a way round this time. But I've got some magic of my own. Watch and learn. Boom! Ah, you can almost smell the sunlight. Isn't it wonderful? The damp, muggy, soggy sunlight. This is Morningwood, all right. I hope the people we're looking for are still alive. Why wouldn't they be? Because, come nightfall, it's one of the most dangerous places in Albion. Well, I don't know about dangerous, but I'm starting to get a rash, bloody swamp. Hello. The armory is at your disposal. We made a good team back in that cave, didn't we? It's been a while since I got stuck into a real fight. It was just like fighting by your father's side. I'd forgotten what it was like, standing next to a hero. I think we're almost there. That must be the place up ahead. What I wouldn't give for a bowl of soup and a hot bath. Hello, I've just learned yet another remarkable tidbit from the Book of Heroes. It seems that you are... Examine your new weapon to learn what you must do in order to improve it, but whatever it is, please don't do it in here. I've just tidied up. Any other business to attend? Cease your movement! Be you men or be you hollow men? Have you gone daft, boy? Open up the doors. Walter? Is that you? The very same. Now. Are you going to let us in, or what? Right. Yes, of course. Open the gate! Tell Major Swift, Walter's here! Welcome, Sir Walter. Sir. Oh! 
There he is. The one and only. Major Swift. Oh, oh Walter! What the blazes are you doing here? We came looking for you. I have a proposition. You came all this way to proposition us. And I thought you were here to save us from the legions of the damned. Ben Finn. It's good to see you. I take it the legends about this place are true, then? I'll say. You've never seen so many hollow men in one place. We've been stationed here for weeks, trying to eradicate them. Mainly, it's us getting eradicated. We lost some good men last night, including Lieutenant Simmons here. And the buggers will be back tonight. Logan just loves to send you on the best assignments, doesn't he? That's part of what I wanted to talk to you about. Is this... Uh... The princess. Yes. I'll explain. But just treat her like any other pair of hands for now. Fair enough. Captain Finn will show you to the mortar. We could use a, a body up there. Meet me on the wall when you're ready. I'll introduce you to Private Jammy. So cool because he's the luckiest sod in the fort. You'll probably be stuck by that mortar or... Take a look around first. Talk to the men. It never hurts to know who's got your back. Finally left the old castle behind, huh? Long time coming, Major. Long time. Look! He's doing it again! I don't suppose you've ever used a mortar before? There's nothing to it. There's always a slight chance of maiming, of course, but um, I'm sure you'll pick it up. First, I'd like you to meet Private Jammy. He'll be your loader. Pleasure to meet you. There's two to say about me, you know. Jammy is soldier in Albion. 724 wounds and still standing. <laughs> don't worry, you'll get used to him. After a while, he's hardly revolting at all. Right, Jammy. It's time to show us. Yes, sir. Right, then. My life's gonna be in your hands, so let's make sure you... Okay, go on, grab the mortar and practice shots. Right, let's see what you've got. See that scarecrow over there? Blow it up. Yes! Yeah! Boom! Push! <laughs> oh! Goodbye, Mr. That was bloody... All right, Jammy, don't get... You know what happens when you do. Let's just take this one. Just one left. Hang on, I don't remember setting this one up. They're here! Start firing! Let's blow these buggers to smithereens! Come on, mate! I love it! You can get more than one with a shot! Careful that's 
zombie dust doesn't get in your eyes. Zombie! Oh, I love it! Quick! To the left! Beautifully done, my friend. Keep that up, we can win this! Right! Two's better than one! Yeah! Isn't that satisfying? There's more coming from the left! Who's for a pint? Lieutenant! 
Richard Simmons. Pacific instructed you to remain buried. Oh, doesn't anyone anymore? <laughs> was pretty damn impressive. So, your father wasn't the last hero of Albion after all. We did it! Oh, really? We did! Let the poets tell our epic tale. The Swift Brigade fought against impossible odds. They won the end. Well, Sir Walter, you didn't do too bad for an old man. Neither did you for a buffoon. <laughs> ah, that was just like old times, Walter. Just like old times. So, what do you say? Will you join us? With your help, we can put a stop to Logan's madness. Bring back the real Albion army. I swore to serve my king to the death. We all did. But this isn't the way it was meant to be. The old guard has been shoved aside, and these new soldiers Logan's been gathering, they don't care about this land or its people. Yeah, and I bet they get paid more. Walter has absolute faith in you. And after seeing you in action, so do I. All I ask is that you make a soldier's oath. Let your armies protect the people instead of oppressing them. Bring honor back to this uniform. Yeah, and don't forget the pay rise. Shut up, Ben. I promise. This has been a momentous day. With the support of Major Swift and his soldiers, the revolution grows in strength, and you move one step closer to becoming the leader this kingdom needs.
Then it's settled. We're heading back to Bowerstone now. There are some people there I'm hoping will join us. We'll send for you when we're ready. Then I shall bid you good luck and farewell and all that. And just try not to get the rest of these lads killed, will you? We're gonna need you all. You always know what to say to keep morale up, Wally. Now get out of here. Farewell, my friends. Come on, you did good today. But we're just getting warmed up. If you feel like exploring, go ahead. I'll meet you at the sewers to Bowerstone. Can't miss them. I've added your promise to Swift to the wall. You have several new suits. Those will make dressing easy. That looks familiar. Have you worn it before? Well, if you prefer it that way, who am I to judge whether a change of apparel is significantly detrimental to one's appearance? Oh, you managed to get those dweller boots on. Honestly, I don't know how you got the straps. To look upon this wall does put things in perspective, doesn't it?
didn't think I was waiting to catch that. Yeah, nice. We've descended into the chasms of the netherworld, stared death in the face, and waded through things so foul I'd rather not think about them. But this is where it gets really ugly. And buried somewhere beneath it all are the people Logan has left behind. I bet it'll be good. Your heart is pure as the driven snow, they say. For me? How kind. How kind. You won't see too many kids running around here. Most of them have no choice but to work. It's either that or begging. I would have loved to see that. Come on now. I don't know don't what happened to make me Logan like this, but we're all paying for it now. You have any questions? Just ask. Glad I came in. I hope you like it. Welcome to the sanctuary. I trust you are finding everything all right. I quite like the way you look. Business is getting pretty bad, but you lovely people will soon put an end to that, won't you? I wonder what's going on up there. Let's see, shall we? Reaver is exploiting us! We deserve fair pay! We demand better working conditions! We're workers! We're not slaves! Reaver treats us like animals! And we're not gonna take it anymore! There's only one thing for it! We have to stand up to Reaver! But lying down is so much easier than standing up! My dear friends, in order to raise morale, I am offering prizes to the most deserving workers. The rules that will govern what I like to call the Reaver Team Spirit Award are these. Firstly, any worker that so much as murmurs another complaint will be fired. Secondly, any worker who takes more than a three-second break will be shot. Thirdly, any worker who breaks any other rules I have yet to formulate will, yes, you guessed it, be shot. We return to work now. As you know, I'm a generous man and likely to start handing out prizes right away. So go on, shoo, be off with you. Chop, chop. That's why we're here. That's why Albion needs you. Your brother must have been out of his mind when he handed control of Industrial to Reaver. We should go on. It's time you met the Bowerstone Resistance. Everyone likes you, don't they? Gotta be happy with that. If you don't help me... Right, this should be the place. Somewhere beyond this door is the base of the Bowerstone Resistance. Ready when you are.
I really love how much time we're spending in caves and sewers these days. No, really. I should warn you. I don't know what kind of reception we'll get. I know their leader well enough, but it was never safe. Hello! Hello! Maybe we've got the wrong place. Let's, um, you know, get out. Don't move! We won't move if you won't shoot. Deal? You better tell your friend that. It's all right. Just do as he says. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm Walter, and this is... Well, that really doesn't matter right now. We're here to speak with Paige. I say we shoot... Listen, we're on your side. Just hear us out. We don't make deals with spies. Shoot! Wait! Put your weapons down! I thought I gave the orders round here, kid. Sorry, Paige. Gotta be carried away. Walter. Glad you're all right. And I'm glad you came in when you did. I wasn't exactly expecting you. Let's talk somewhere a bit more private. I had this whole plan, you see. But I... Well, we ended up leaving the castle earlier than I thought. I heard. Pity. Your messages were always useful. I can offer you something better. Paige, I'd like you to meet. I know who she is. I thought you'd know better than to bring the princess here. She's not just a princess. She's a hero. Great. Give her a medal. No, no. I mean she's a hero. Like her father. Really? It doesn't change anything. Your brother is the reason we live underground. He's the reason we fight. How do we know she's any better? Well, let her prove it. It's not just me she needs to convince. The people of this city need someone they can believe in. Prove to them that they should follow you, then we'll talk. For now, I have work to do. Looks like you have work to do, too. You have a whole city to inspire. Today you have met the true voice of the people of this city. It is imperative that you win Paige and her resistance movement to your cause. And just as important that you prove to Bowerstone that you can be its rightful ruler. It would seem your heroism has to be put to the test once again, madam. May I suggest... I can't see a way to proceed without first gathering more followers, and I believe there are quests available. Thank you. 
find the elite with our gems and jewels. So the jewels. legend's about hollow men You've got and an excellent reputation. <laughs> 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 Oh. Congratulations! Oh my. Getting out among the people has oh. paid off! No! Remember, the oh, yeah. of the citizens oh. of the Earth is generally you a reliable way to gain followers. Shoes! They're fantastic! They really bring out your knees. Join the elite with our gems and jewels. Potions! Get your potions here! Do you have anything I can buy off you? Don't waste food the monorails ever the again! Of the ravine with our amazing prizes to What is it you need? Always happy to buy your unwanted items. That's a fine item. I hope I can make a profit on that. Thank you for your custom. I'll buy anything. Well, almost anything. Hi there. How can I help? Hello there. It's your favorite customer again. Almost. Everything Every weapons away. enthusiast will find something to fall in love with here. If you can find better prices anywhere, then I shan't be surprised if you shop there instead. Sell it to me. All right, cheers. Business is pretty good, but I'm sure you can help to make it even better. Thank you. You know those soldiers? Ah, hello. So, are we all set for tonight? I've double-checked ev- I don't believe it! You're a hero! I mean, you're a real hero! That's just what we need! Salutations! We are three magi of great power! I am Madron of a thousand faces, and this is Caliph, Lord of the Fairies! And lo, as I have attested, there is a third who is counted among our number! Oh, for goodness sake, Mark! My mum wants me home for supper. Fine. And lo, that's Jim. Now, Princess Frexia has been taken by an evil baron to another plane. Will you rescue her? All you have to do is take this magic orb, and you'll be transported to the baron's realm. What say you, hero? Will you aid us? Will you aid her? She is completely hot, by the way. Your 
pockets. So don't be sh The hero wakes. Long had she harboured thoughts of vengeance against the evil Baron. Get on with it. Philistine. So it was that the hero came to the little village of Lightwater, a pretty hamlet nestling under the brooding battlements of the evil Baron's castle. It's a very pretty village. Our hero resolved to talk to the townsfolk and see what she could find out about the missing princess. You're kidding, right? If the hero starts talking... Cool. Looks like old Clem is up. Hail, hero! I am old Clem, <clears throat> the blacksmith. I make weapons, and if you bring me some sky metal, I can make you a magic sword. It's a thousand gold per plus, so a plus three sword is three thousand gold. Oh, and I, I, oh, and I can't make anything more than a plus three because I'm only a journeyman blacksmith. Bit early in the adventure for anything above a plus three. It's unbalancing, you see. Uh, forging doesn't work. Uh, I didn't have time to do the models. Are you serious? A game like this is all about customization. I am Mildred, a humble milkmaid. To brighten my joyless days, I daydream about a handsome nobleman. Strong enough to dispatch highwaymen, but gentle enough to hold me for hours in his warm, powerful arms. Hang on, who's talking here? You or Mildred? That was Mildred. What about the princess? You should say that Mildred saw some hobs carrying a large, wriggling bag. But she didn't. And that she's really hot. The hero's approaching Horace. Brilliant. <clears throat> Greetings, mighty hero. I am Horace, the most gifted poet of our age. Shall I recite a sonnet for you? Oh, radiant orb, into the sky rise, and illuminate for mine mortal eyes my true love's face and in silhouette frame her slender and curvaceous frame. <laughs> What do you think, guys? Nice. Frame with... F oh, the hero's approaching Horace. Brilliant. <clears throat> Excellent. The hero's going to talk to Arturo. Now we can get things moving. Greetings, stranger. I can see from your good looks and heroic demeanor that you must be on a quest to rescue the princess. I saw her yesterday carried off by the Baron's evil servants, a troop of hobs. They took her through this gate to the castle on the hill. What, that's it? No clues to solve or anything? Well, the hero has to figure out how to get up the hill. You mean like by climbing it? Hey, no spoilers. The hero decided to investigate the eerie tower on the hill. It's not very eerie though, is it? Ben, you did the tower, didn't you? Yeah, but I thought you said pretty. What kind of adventure has a pretty tower on a hill? Be quiet, you two. I'll deal with this. Now you're talking.
And so the hero slew the last of the wolves, which had proven to be a mighty challenge. And far more exciting than rabbits. Yeah, bit predictable, though. The novelty of the rabbits wears off a bit when you realise you can't fight them, though, doesn't it? Does everything have to be about fighting? Yeah. Story is conflict. Ideally, with not too much story getting in the way. The hero entered the Baron's factory. Teddy bears. What are teddy bears doing here? Aren't they sweet? I put them in. Nice, eh? Yeah, they are. They are nice. You know what we don't want in the evil Baron's castle? Anything nice. Shh! Here come the Princess and the Baron. Help! Oh, somebody please help! I've been kidnapped by the evil Baron! I am the evil Baron. And the Princess shall be my wife. And all these bears will, well, they'll do evil stuff, for they are evil teddy bears. I shall never marry you. Oh, she's very to like that. This old man suddenly appeared before the hero. Riddle me re, cried the old man. Oh no, not one of your puzzles. They're far too hard. Just let her open the chest. If all trimps are trumps, and all trumps are trumps, then all trimps are definitely trumps. True or false? Actually, that's rather easy. Oh, just give her the sword. You ruined my puzzle. Took me ages to work that out, and now she's got the sword far too easily. Should have been much harder. Okay, who set up the lever? I thought you did. Well, I thought it was Jim's job. T quick, let's make something up. Um, well, how about it releases a cloud of lovely butterflies? Worst game ever. Serious. Well, how about a standard Hollow Man encounter? Yeah, let's have some bloody action. Men vanquished, the hero ventured on. Foolish hero, 
your pursuit ends here, for you will be devoured by the killer monsters of this ravine. <laughs> And the killer monsters are... Chickens? A chicken? Yes, I thought it was time to put in something cute. But also to make us think about our relationship with food and that. Bloody hell, Ben, you... <sighs> Wait, let me fix it. There. This is no ordinary chicken. It's a fire-breathing demon chicken. Why do you guys always want to put chickens in everything? Weird. That had to hurt. I kind of feel bad for them. That was just gross. Hero, you can't let that bird get away with that. The hero will feast on chicken flesh tonight. And so the mighty hero triumphed over the fire-breathing demonic... Um, chickens of doom! The hero emerged into the light to find the evil baron at bay. Hero, you're my only hope. I, the Baron, shall tolerate your meddling no longer. My elite hop guard will take care of you. They hunger for human flesh. <laughs> <laughs> Curse you, hero. You're going to kill them all, aren't you? Be a sport, and let them kill you! That's it! Kill her! Kill I should have paid for better elite guards. No! Surely you can't defeat my elite guards! Defeat my elite guards! These hobs are no match for a hero like you. I almost feel sorry for the little blighters. Be a sport and let them kill you! Blast you! 
I should have paid for better elite guards. This cannot be! Stop killing my guards, you fiend! Stop that hob killing! Blast you! The Baron's elite guards lay at the hero's feet. Nothing now lay between her and the I evil Baron. I challenge you to personal combat, hero. But know that I am immune to all weapons save one. A magic sword that is the bane of my existence. Which there is no way you could possibly have! The sword! The Bane Sword! It cannot be! No! I am slain! <laughs> what kind of rubbish game lets you kill the villain in one blow? Well, you gave the hero that Baron's Bane sword. Yeah, but it wasn't supposed to be so easy to get. Oh, give it a rest, will you, please? Come on, back to the game. Hero, thank you for saving me. How can I ever repay you? I can think of something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the hero kisses the princess. Two girls kissing? bit of a cliché. An incredibly hot cliché. It's ironic. It's a self-aware commentary on the nature of the cliché. <sighs> well, an incredibly hot self-aware commentary on the nature of the cliché. And they both lived happily ever after? Well, they would have, but the Baron had poisoned the princess and she died an excruciating death. Her inhuman death streaks tormented a local stable boy who grew up to be a vicious serial killer. And cannibal. You're sick, Jim. Why do you always want to kill everything? Why can't we just have a happy ending? That is a happy ending. I'm with Ben. They both lived happily ever after and there was little to no cannibalism. Oh, great. Yeah, I've never seen that before. Great work, my friend. You are fantastic! You have to be the best hero of all time. I'm going to have my bard stroke sorcerer compose a song about you. <laughs> Whatever. We bestow upon you the title of Honorary Master of Dungeons! Well, that went well, don't you think? Uh-huh. Good bit of gaming, that. When's the next session? Same time next week. Hang on, where's the orb? Which orb? Which orb? How many orbs have we got? The orb of interplanar transference. Have you checked the sanctuary shop recently? I believe there are new items. Your arsenal contains a new sword. Why just stab or shoot your enemies when you can set them on fire? If you want to inflict the greatest possible damage in melee combat, you want a hammer. The bigger, the better. <laughs> 